What's up everybody? And I just hit my foot on the desk. All right, so I wanted to come and talk a little bit about probably the most important thing that has helped me get my videos to the next level. Has really like helped me learn how to storytell a little better, how to kind of put emphasis on a scene, and how to, you know, add that little nest to what I'm trying to say, both with video and, and kind of explaining a little better because we really understand better what we see than what somebody's telling us. So in this video guys, I want to walk you through the process of kind of kind of documenting my idea of what B-roll is and how I've kind of learned to use it a little bit and how I'm trying to better myself through the limitations of my camera, my gear. I hope that this could help just one person out there and I hope it helps somebody. So in this video, guys, we're gonna talk about B-roll, how I collect it, how I use it. Roll intro. So just diving right into the subject, you know, like, you know, you get to the scene, you get to where you're really trying to describe that, that part that you just can't put it into words. You got to show. So your intro in the scene and you're like, man, today we went out to Pensacola beach and we set up the rod and reels. Meanwhile, it should look like this. So this scene was just basically shot with my Canon T6i with an 18 by 50 millimeter standard kit lens, not a really expensive lens. My, my purpose was to use the, the gear that I have that wasn't super expensive to try to tell the story the best that I can. I know a lot of young YouTubers, me myself included, that it's hard to you know go buy that five thousand dollar lens, thousand dollar lens, five thousand dollar camera, etc., and and try to compete on that level. But what I have tried to do is maximize the gear that I have and the best color correction that I can with the best scene I can to try to get that three hundred and sixty degree scene. So basically, when I get there I just start looking around and seeing how I can incorporate everything around me. What I was basically saying in the intro is that the king of b-roll is to basically be able to make people touch and kind of feel what you're trying to say. You know using that supplemental footage instead of that footage that is actually the main focus of what you're trying to say. So like the main focus would be like what I'm saying right now, but the B-roll, the supplement, would be what I'm gonna overlay over me talking right now to kind of show you. So like when I first get to a spot that I'm gonna try to use in my vlog, I try to do a 360 degree either pan or B-roll collection. So my main issue is that I am using, I am, using very limited gear out of a Canon T6i with the kit lens. Most of this is shot with an 18 by 55 uh, kit lens that came with this camera itself. Um, and I chose a cheaper camera because I knew that I was gonna either kill it in the sand or the water or drop it overboard, etc. So I didn't wanna get a top of the line camera. I was gonna make do with what I could and try to make it the best that I could. You know, you're not gonna get that glassy, awesome contrast from a cheap lens, but this cheap lens doesn't do too bad. And in auto correction or color correction, you can get a lot more out of it. But really one of the main things I use to gather a lot of my B-roll is my phone. So this bad boy has been my basic main B-roll collector. You know, you're sitting at a restaurant, you see something that's pretty cool, it's like, wow, I'm gonna grab that, bam, run it for five seconds, 10 seconds, 30 seconds. I've got some cool 4K footage right there on my phone, I'm rocking and rolling, and I've got an overlay over something to make something look a little more snazzy. Another great thing to have is the 55 by 250 millimeter lens. This is the kit lens from Canon that fits this Canon T6i. It's just a run of the mill. It'll reach out there. It'll grab some stuff. It will like actually 
uh, it'll surprise you. It's done pretty well. You're not gonna get that low light awesomeness, but you're gonna get some pretty cool footage that'll look like this. And that was shot from the top of the Pentacola Pier, right reaching out a few hundred yards, both on kite surfers and surfers, added that little extra nest to kind of get me from one scene to the other. And you know, these kit lenses are really not that bad to use. Um, if I had the budget, I would upgrade, but I'm pretty happy having the 10 by 18 for the vlogs like this and having the 15 or and having the 18 by 55 here and then being able to step up to the bigger lens if I want to. I've not really had the need for a bigger lens yet, but it's allowed me to create some pretty good b-roll, step up my game a little bit, and have a lot of fun. So what I uh, in the future I would grab a, a nicer lens, better uh, camera. I would like to go 4K 120, but I've been shooting everything pretty much in 1080 30, even on my phone. I recently started moving up to the 4K on my phone, but the storage is a lot more. So think about these ideas when you're trying to get your storytelling to the next level. Implement the B roll over the top of what you're trying to say, and you'll get that nest, that extra little awesomeness of kind of making people see that you're going out Pensacola Beach or see that you're going to uh, do some fishing with, you know, some reels and some line and some, you know, even the sound of being at the beach just allows your storytelling to kind of take it to the next level. But that's all I got really guys. I just wanted to kind of let y'all know kind of how I go about making these videos and the tools I use, you know, it's pretty much cell phone. A nice DSLR camera, this thing's like 650 bucks. And then three camera lenses, rock and roll, two batteries is usually what I'll run through on the Canon T6i. And you know, it's, it's really kind of worked out good. So that's all I got guys, I'll see you later.